Welcome to the driver's seat. We are in Bend, Oregon for a very critical launch for Chevy trucks. Introducing the all new 2020 Chevy 2500 and 3500 heavy duty trucks. We have two all new powertrains. Earlier today, we were driving the gasoline version, which is an all new 6.6 .6 liter V8 gas direct injection engine, producing 401 horsepower and 464 pound feet of torque. That's a 22% improvement over the outgoing V8 engine. And then we drove this, the 6.6 .6 liter V8 Duramax. It has an exclusive 10-speed Allison transmission. The gasoline, by the way, gets a six-speed automatic. Uh, you have 445 horsepower and 910 pound-feet of torque. And all that torque is available in first gear, and that's something that the competition, Ram Ford, cannot do. Now, to get that 35,500 pounds that everyone is talking about, you have to get this engine in the 3500 with the dually. That's the only way you can do that. We drove those yesterday uh, with the big bulldozer on the back, and that had to be in a special airport. Uh, we couldn't go out in public roads because you needed a commercial driver's license uh, to tow that much. So uh, I got to tell you, it was very impressive. I've never towed anything like that in my life and uh, uh, I was blown away by just how hard that is to do but Chevy trucks makes it pretty easy. Back in February at the Chicago Auto Show we shot a video of the reveal of this all-new Silverado HD and a lot of you chimed in about the grill and some of you loved it you loved the boldness a lot, a lot of you didn't like it. You said it was very polarizing and it was downright ugly. After spending a day with this truck, I got to tell you, I get it. So this is the high country and it's going to have this bow tie. And between you and me, uh, both my drive partner and I, and even some internal people, they're not really fond of this, but only the high country gets this this grill with this gold bow tie. Uh, it's a little too much bling for me. The rest of them get the Chevrolet etched out and that is a bold look. When I looked at it today, uh, both in my rear view mirror when I was driving with other people, also just get, walking up to it, uh, I like that grill. And we, we heard from customers, they showed us video uh, of focus groups and these customers, they don't want their 2500 and 3500 to look like they're 1500. They want their heavy duty truck to stand out, to be bold, to be different. You wanna know how different this is? See that roof up there? That's the only panel that shares uh, any other body panel with the 1500. So everything here is unique except that roof panel to the 1500. And, and that's not what Chevy did in the past, but they really went the extra mile because they want this to stand out and mission accomplished. Let's talk a little bit about hauling and this bed. So you have a standard liner in here and uh, that comes with all the heavy duty trucks. Chevy's really made a name for itself with this corner step, allows you to put your foot up here and it makes it much easier to get in and out. You also have this side step. Again, it's really easy to get in and out. I think I wanna point out here is that now this Add Blue, they've done a lot of work with this. Uh, it used to be in a different location, now it's here. You also have a gauge inside to tell you how much is in there. And now the, the tank that holds the Add Blue is inside the frame rails. And uh, I, I guess some customers wanted that, but they've made improvements is the point. While so much of the industry is going away from diesel, heavy duty trucks, I think diesels are here to stay. Uh, let's look, look, look inside this bed. So to get inside this bed, you have a power tailgate. It's one of those things where you don't think you need it until you spend time with it, and then you say, how did I live without it? But if you look inside here, you have 12 tie downs. You have 110 power outlets. You already have, underneath these grommets over here, you can drop a fifth wheel right in here. It used to be you had to go and do some aftermarket work or order order at custom. Uh, they know that there's a good chance that the person who buys this is going to uh, is going to eventually maybe need a fifth wheel. Push of a button, goes back up. I, you know, this is the high country, $75,000. It's the extreme. This is for the, you know, multimillionaire that's going to be towing race cars or horses, whatever. But there's a whole other lineup of heavy duty trucks and they're all just as capable, maybe not quite as cozy and comfortable, but they certainly have all the capabilities. 
there's so many features of the all new Silverado HD that impressed us. But I think the cameras for the towing uh, are what really just blew us away. Their technology is uh, really light years ahead of the competition. They tell us that they basically shipped this over to uh, a uh, you know, computer company in Ireland and they worked on it for three years uh, in, in a you know, secret environment and then they shipped it back and this is what they came back with. Um, you know, I don't know the whole backstory, but all I know is that the end results are really uh, a technological advancement in in towing that uh, I would think the rest of the industry would be very interested in. Now, one of the unexpected consequences of having 910 foot-pounds of torque is the acceleration is very good. We were surprised just how light and nimble this truck felt, and uh, it was a it was a pleasure. This is a massive truck, don't get me wrong, but if you're not towing and hauling, you have no load, typically in the back, uh, HD trucks would beat you up. Not this truck. This truck really uh, knows how to behave when it's empty and not towing anything, and then you know, slap 14,000 pounds on it like we did, and it's, you know, it's just fine. It's like, it's like it needs it. It's, it doesn't, there's nothing back there. So really effortless towing, effortless hauling, and uh, really amazed how, uh, how refined this vehicle is. Uh, when I think about past uh, Silverado HDs, they were a little rough around the edges as far as driving dynamics, but uh, this one has, has done quite nicely. You can see we're on some curvy roads here, and uh, you know, it behaves very well. It's very planted. <clears throat> now we have the diesel, which is going to be about 50% of the volume mix. Uh, this is what Chevy tells us. And just like 2,500 and 3,500 are going to be split. To get the dually, you have to go 3,500. No dually available in the 2,500, but that's kind of an industry standard. Uh, and uh, this has a lot of really nice features like head-up display, which you don't really expect in a heavy-duty you know, commercial-grade truck, but you have it. Uh, the infotainment system, uh, Maybe not quite as refined as Rams, but it works. It's a good system. Love OnStar. Uh, love all the uh, you know the gauges. This all stuff is this stuff is really secondary because you know, we know truck owners are very passionate uh, people, and and they are going to go along party lines. So if you are a Chevy owner and you've been waiting for the new HD to come out. I can tell you, you'll be pleasantly surprised. If you're not a Chevy owner and you're thinking about jumping over to the brand, uh, I, I think you'll be impressed. It's ultimately going to be your decision, but these are some amazing trucks. They put a lot of you know, work and time and effort into it, and the fruits of their labors are easy to, uh, you know, easy, to, easy to feel and see once you get behind the wheel. Seats are extremely comfortable. Uh, really, again, very, very few things to to, uh, to complain about. Uh, I think they did, did a brilliant job. Chevy tells us there are two types of buyers for their heavy duty trucks. Those that need this for their work, so towing heavy construction equipment like the 12,000 uh, pound John Deere uh, farm equipment we were towing today, and uh, those that want to tow their prized possession. Could be an expensive car, a uh, thoroughbred horse, maybe a boat. Uh, but one thing they both have in common, they want to be able to tow with confidence and with all the cameras. Everything that Chevy has done, they have really just moved the needle into making towing so much more easy, so much safer, and so much more confident. You know, Chevy has recognized that up until now, when it comes to the heavy duty space, they've kind of toggled between second and third place, no more. They have really uh, put the hammer down with their numbers and their goal is to be number one. And I got to tell you, I think with this truck, they might get there. I'm Ron Doran. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the driver's seat.